Hi, so I got this e-bike uh, from Happy Run, so I'm going to open it up and then show all the contents and then I am going to do the installation of everything. So I am going to pull this stuff out. So I'm going to just slowly open everything. I got a piece right here. I have a fender. Here. So it's got good packaging. As you can see, it's help protecting the side. And then I'm just going to very carefully cut everything and start opening and showing how it's packaged, nice and protected. So there we go. There's the kickstand. Hi, so on step five, you're gonna use the M5 Allen wrench. You're gonna undo two screws, and then you're gonna unscrew this and then remove the trim cover. So then when I'm gonna do this, so now that you remove the top cover plate, you're gonna flip this around, put it back on, and then I have my plate. I'm gonna have it so I have that happy run to the front, use the bolt, put it in, and then use an Allen wrench and tighten this top right here. So after you get the top part, you're gonna screw these back in and tighten this by using the M5 Allen wrench and get it nice and tight and secure. And then next, I'm just gonna put the silicone cap on. So next you're gonna do is use the M5 Allen wrench. You're gonna unscrew these four and then there is the cover. So what I'm gonna do is unscrew these four, take the handlebars, assemble in the front, and then I'm gonna take the cap, put it back on, and then screw these four original screws to the original spot and have the handlebars attached. So now that I have the cover on, I got the four screws in, I'm gonna tighten it and get the handlebars to the height that I want for it, and then tighten it all the way nice and tight. So step 16 is you're gonna take your front fender, you got the M5, you're gonna assemble it to the front part of the forks, and then following the instructions, it's talking about 17, installing it, um, tighten the screws, and then, so on step 19, you're gonna be taking the um, disc brake out of the box. It's got six spots, you're gonna take your tire, and then your M5, loosen these up, assemble it here, tighten it, and then I'm gonna come back next showing it with attaching to the front fork of the bike. So you're gonna install that front fender with this tool and then you got that nut and you can use this tool that's included in the back to hold it. And you're just gonna tighten this all the way until that fender is nice and tight and secure. And then I'm gonna come back and install that front tire on these front forks. So now what you're gonna do is unscrew this and you got small parts. You wanna make sure you got them on both sides the same. So I have this locking piece and a small spring and I got a locking piece and a small spring on this side. So I'm going to put this through in the front forks and then tighten it. And I'll come back showing what it looks like. So now that you have your tire on, you got the disc brake, this little locking mechanism, you're gonna get it in right there and then you got the springs and you're gonna just to tighten. And this locking is exact same on the other side. You're gonna have it in that nice um, spot that holds it attached in. So I'm gonna tighten this all the way and then lock it in place. So next I'm gonna uh, attach the pedals. So I got a left and it's nice that it has on the outside and it also does have it like an L, you can see there. And then I will do the right on the other one and also it does have an R there. So you're just gonna put it here and then screw it in and then tighten it up. So on the back of the display is the next step. You're gonna uh, tighten these two screws, take them off first, adjust it and get it nice and tight. And then you have your cord right here. 
and you want to make sure you're um, lining up the ends. They're specific um, exact style that's going to go in and then you're going to tighten it and secure it and then you're done with that. So it does come with a tire inflator. You're going to want now next, the very last step is inflate the tires and you want to go max 20 is what it says on the tires. So I'm going to inflate and then show it fully inflated. So after the tires are fully inflated, it's ready to ride. You have a kickstand in the back and nice and assembled with a nice screen display.